Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about gut health. Let's talk about bloating. Let's talk about inflammation. Let's talk about food intolerances and everything in the middle when it comes to gut health and the big gold question of why. Why is this happening to me? I've actually found the answer and I'm here to help you find yours. Before I get into the whole kit and everything about it, I want to tell you my history on my gut health and how it led me to here. As far as I can remember, I had bad gut health. No matter what I ate, it would always inflame my lower abdomen and it would make me feel ill and I didn't enjoy eating and I just thought that that's how it was. I remember in fourth grade, I had a bunch of friends, it was the summertime and we were at the pool and they would eat, I ate, and we had the same thing, and they all looked exactly the same as they did before they ate, but I looked different, and I thought, what is wrong with me? Like, why do I look like this? Why is this happening to me and only me? And it made me feel, it just made me feel bad. And I think that this happens to a lot of people, and they never really said anything, because I know I didn't. I just thought that's just how life was, and um, I just kind of lived with it, so... Fast forwarding through high school and middle school and all that, I continued doing sports, I continued eating well, but I would start to slowly eat less and less and just stick to really basic foods. Like I ate chicken and I would eat no red meat at that point. This is all in high school. I would eat like the vegetables, like lots of salads, and I wouldn't eat any kind of desserts or snacks. So I avoided sugary foods because at this point, I thought I was just like fluctuating fat and it made me very self-conscious. So I stuck with just as basic as I can go. And from there, I went to college. And in college, I went to school for exercise science. And with that, you learn nutrition. And in my nutrition classes is where I learned the process of elimination diet. So that's where you start to take out foods that might be aggravating your system. You usually start with dairy and then you move through to like the gassy foods like we all know, broccoli, cabbage, all those kind of foods. So I would do that and I figured out that yeah, of course, those were aggravating my stomach but yet I still was feeling and looking the same and that's when I figured out meats, like all kinds of meats were doing this to me as well. So that's when I went vegetarian and I went vegan for a little bit but it made me very fragile and very frail and it wasn't good for my body in particular. And then the vegetarian diet still wasn't doing the right things for me either. Still feeling this way but I was feeling even more exhausted than I already was feeling. So I introduced fish and fish was fine but I was still feeling the way I've been talking about. I was not only feeling self-conscious and feeling the uncomfortableness of the bloating, but it wasn't actually bloating, it was inflammation. And I was also feeling grogginess. I was feeling, it would make me feel like hung over. I would feel slow mentally and physically. I'd feel very tired and drained. And it was just all the things that you could feel that aren't good, like it's what I was feeling. And I think that a lot of people feel this too because your gut is directly related to your moods and to the way you feel. Oh, money's leaving. He doesn't want to be part of this right now. After that, I decided to ask my doctor to do a blood test to see if I had celiac disease with gluten. And it turns out that I do. I just have like a minor case of it. Not that I need to go to a hospital if I have gluten, but I do get all the other symptoms of, you know, get money he was scratching at the door uh, where was I I think I was talking about how I was getting all the symptoms from celiacs but I just didn't need like extreme help it was just very much bogging me down and it was irritating my system so with that happening I did eliminate gluten and that did help a lot but I was still feeling that fogginess I was still feeling that drainedness and I was still getting inflammation and I couldn't get any cleaner with my eating I was as clean as you can get and I was still feeling this way. It was very exhausting and I'm sure you're at this point too. But one day I went on Instagram and there was this gut intelligence program kit that I saw pop up and I was very skeptical at first because on Instagram you're just like really hyper 
exposed to products and some are real, some are fake. So I did some research on this one and it turns out that it's pretty legit. So I decided to get myself one because I wanted answers, I needed answers, and it told me that it was going to give it to me, so I was in. The thing is though, I live in New York and New York supposedly won't let you get this kit. I don't know why, couldn't tell you, but my best friend in St. Louis could, so I sent it to her house and then she sent it to me, which she's such a doll for doing that. And if you have somebody that's like that for you and you live in New York, send it to their house and they will have to send it to you. Okay, talking about the kit now, you get it mailed to you, this is the kit. They have two different kits. This is the normal original one. This just talks about your gut. The other one is very much more in depth and it gives you an overall health and everything about your health, plus your gut intelligence. And I really didn't need that, so I just stagged myself this one. And you get this mailed to you. that you're going to open up the box and inside the box there's going to be a little card with an ID number. You're going to download the Viome app onto your phone and you're going to type in that ID number and it's going to bring up your file and you're going to have a whole profile. There's going to be a few sections of questionnaires that you have to fill out while you wait for your kit to be processed. It'll take about a day, not even, like a little afternoon and you'll fill out other things that they need to know about you so they can better understand your gut health. So after you get that and you log it in so you don't lose that little card, you're going to climb into this box and there's this little folder and in this folder you have a couple of things. Some things are missing because I've done this already and you're going to have, first off, let me tell you that I didn't really tell you what you need to do to be able to get this gut intelligence test you need to do a bathroom sample. So, after just giving you that information, in this kit, you're going to have three steps, and they're very clear steps. Step one is to collect the sample, and you get two toilet seat uh, cover catchers that fit different size toilets. Some toilets are smaller, some are bigger, I guess. And, so I used one of them. And what you do is do your thing and there's a little test tube with a little spoon attached to it in the lid. You're gonna take that little spoon, you take a pea-sized sample, you put it back into the little container with all the chemicals and you shake it. Shake it super hard and it gives you directions on how many times to shake it. And then what you do is there is a little biohazard package that you're gonna put it in and you're gonna pop it into this little satchel, seal it up. This is just the bag that the satchel was in. You'll have that in your kit and that's what's gonna protect your sample. And then there is a pre-stamped, pre-done envelope for you to send your sample out. You can do this all within one morning, get it done with. And once you send it on your app, you're able to track where your sample is. So it'll say it's in the shipment zone. Once it's received, it'll say it's received, and then it'll tell you where it is in the process. So it's really cool for you to know live where it's at so you don't have to keep wondering. It said it takes a really long time, but honestly it took about eight days for me to get my, um, my results. So have some patience and uh, maybe it won't take as long as it says it will because it definitely didn't take that long for me. Let me pull up the app for you now. So here's the app. Let's see if it'll focus. Here we go. The Viome app. Once you log in and you get your score, it's going to tell you right there, my score for a healthy, lifetime good eater, healthy eater, active person, gets all her water in, has a 42 out of 100. I always knew I had poor gut health, and this right here confirmed it. Now once you click on that little arrow there, let's see if it'll focus for you, it's going to bring you to a whole load of information, and that's going to be on part two because that's 
so, so in depth. I wanna talk about the basic with you, which is the nutrition part. So your food list, you're gonna pop onto the nutrition tab. I want this to focus better. You're gonna pop onto the nutrition tab and it's gonna tell you your avoid, your superfoods, and your in-between foods, like your minimize, which I don't eat my minimize foods just because they still aggravate my stomach. And um, there's the enjoy foods that aren't your superfoods and those are fine to eat. So let's go into my avoid list. We have broccoli, we have cashews, cauliflower, mustard greens, you know, plums, prunes, and tomatoes. And then like my minimized list is forever long and these all hurt my stomach as well. And I figured that out over 10 years after I graduated college with the elimination diet plan and Pretty much all of these I figured out on my own as well. So, all right, I want to show you what you do with, again, let's focus. I want to show you what it looks like when you have a avoid food. So let's go to tomato. There's a little arrow, you click on it, and it's gonna tell you exactly why you can't eat tomatoes. And it turns out that Tomatoes and me don't get along very well because once upon a time I ate an infected tomato with a virus and this virus now lives inside of my microbiome and it's a very mean Aggressive virus that ferments food when I eat anything with tomatoes or just tomatoes This virus just like revs up and it's ready to go and it makes Sorry about the sounds. I live on Main Street <laughs> So like I was saying, the virus revs up and it's just like going to town and flaming my entire system. And I never would have guessed. And what I love about this program is that it gives you the exact reason why. It doesn't just tell you avoid tomatoes, end of story. It tells me why and tells me I have this special mean virus inside of me that is just wreaking havoc in my system. Let's go over one more. One that's not got a virus because I have a couple of viruses. Crazy. All right, let's do broccoli. So the broccoli in my body impairs absorption of anything good in nutritional value. So it kind of like blocks anything that benefits me, which isn't very helpful. So there's all that information every time you click on all the different foods, they all have different reasons. And we're gonna go to superfoods now. Here's my superfood list. Things I didn't realize that were super awesome. I thought some things were great for me, like kale, but kale's on my minimized list. And arugula is a superfood for me. Avocados, bananas, peppers, which I always ate. Luckily there's like two to three things that I eat every day that are on my superfood list and everything else I eat every day, I kid you not, was on my avoid or minimize list. Carrots, awesome for me, cod, dill, la la la. There's a lot of great things for me. Lemon and etc etc sage, salmon. Let me tell you why. Let's see. Let me tell you why dill is a superfood for me. So you go to that little arrow, and it's gonna give you the whole little rundown right here. It's kind of a long rundown. So dill in my system activates antioxidants that combat any kind of inflammation in my system. So that's something that's really great to combat the effects that the broccoli did on my system, or any foods that might do that or anything lingering in my system because my system is still healing. It takes about 90 days for your gut to heal, so you have to be patient with it, and that's why you have to stick to all these foods that they're telling you that you should be eating and avoid things that you shouldn't because think about it. You've been eating all these bad foods for you for probably your whole life. It's a chronic amount of time. It's a very long time. It's going to take some time for it to cycle out of you and let the other things come in and help repair and rebuild and 
replenish yourself. So one last thing on part one is that they do have supplements that complement the foods, your superfoods that you're eating. So they'll pretty much be like extracting all the good things, all the reasons why you're eating these superfoods and popping them into a little capsule. And it's like a double whammy for you to take while also following your great diet that now you know how to eat for yourself. And I haven't tried them yet. They're a little pricey, but I think I'm gonna start taking them over the holiday season just because it's that time of the year where you indulge and there might be something sneaky in there, like sugar for me. Normal sugar is no good. I can only have like maple syrup or like coconut sugar as my sugars. And of course, cookies and things that other people make, I might wanna try and these uh, supplements might help me out a little bit. So I've been sticking to my superfoods and my enjoy foods for about 35 days. I did start earlier, but there's times where I had sneaky tomatoes kind of sneak into my meals when I went out and I didn't realize they were there or would ask for no tomatoes, but they thought I meant no sauce, but still added tomatoes. I don't know. Didn't make any sense out of it. I just know that I ate some and I needed to start over because I wanted it to be pure. And I'm gonna pop a photograph of what I looked like when I ate food and bloated and then what I looked like after following 35 days of all the good things and none of the bad things. <laughs> experiencing any of this kind of inflammation, any of this bloating, food intolerances, and left with nothing but questions and wondering what's wrong with you, then this is really such a great source for you to take advantage of. And I was so glad that I did it. I feel a lot more confident in my body because now it's not stressed out, so it's not retaining water, it's not bloating out every time I eat and I'm not feeling drained, tired, groggy or foggy mentally or physically and I strongly believe in this product. I'm not being paid to talk about it. I stumbled upon this all on my own and I fell in love with it on my own and if you are just like me, you really need to get this. I linked this down in the description box below so you can get your hands on it and I would love to hear about your experience with it or if you're getting it or if you're getting it for a friend or a spouse or parent or anybody. I want to know who's getting it, who's excited, and if you are on it, how it's helping you. Maybe we have some foods in common that we can't eat or maybe we have some foods that are in common that are super foods for us. I don't know. I just want to talk about it with somebody. Somebody, please get this and talk about it with me. I'm just in love with it. I've never gotten such a straightforward, in-depth answer before and I just can't say anything else about it right now. It's just so great. Part two will be that other avenue I showed you in the beginning that's just like a whole another 20 minutes of talking. It's very more scientific and it's gonna be a lot longer to talk about if I added it to this video. So part two will be coming up um, a lot of you will be sold after part one. I mean, I would have been sold on part one. This not only just gives you the food recommendations and the reasons why, but it gives you more scientific understanding of your body. This is literally your body. And it's talking about you and what's right and wrong for you. Like, how cool is that? I just get dazzled by science. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up Hit subscribe so you don't miss this video and share it with somebody that you know is struggling right along with the rest of us. I will see you next time. Bye!